Right, this video has been a long time coming. Um, what I'm intending to do is disassemble an old telephone capacitor that failed in service. The only tools I will need are, hopefully, pliers and cutters. Here's the capacitor. Now, it's a Russian telephone capacitor dating to 1969. Now, the reason I'm wearing rubber gloves or um, vinyl gloves and the table is covered with tissue is because these can contain PCBs. In the West, they would have been outlawed before 1969, but in Soviet Russia, who knows? This capacitor has failed short circuit. As you can see, it's sealed here with pitch or tar. That was easy. That was a lot easier than I thought. This video might be quite short. What you have, a capacitor, as you may know, is just simply two conductors of electricity not touching each other. Um, it's the aluminium can that contained the capacitor. Uh, waxed paper to insulate the capacitor from the can. And that's literally, there's another little piece of waxed paper. I don't know whether I can get that piece. Uh, I may need a screwdriver, which I haven't prepared. This is where it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> no. uh, here is the waxed paper. This was across the end. There indeed still is across the end, because it won't come out. There we go. That was across the end there, preventing any short circuits. I don't know whether you can see inside there. If I open the can out, you'll literally see it's just literally an extruded aluminium container. Now here are the two terminals. You can see there was actually a mixture of epoxy resin and um, pitch. I think that's it. No, I was incorrect. That is... Um, solid epoxy resin. It's just fired across the room. If I cut these two lead-out wires, you can see there's a fiberglass spacer there, which leads out to the two tags. As I say, this failed short circuit actually in service, so I'm not sure where the end of the paper is. What I may have to do is reach back over here, grab a pointy thing, a knife blade or razor blade rather. There we go. It's very, 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 very fine paper. It's almost comically fine because they have to roll an immense amount of paper into the space. This razor blade gives you an idea of how thin the paper is. The razor blade looks fat compared to the paper. Hopefully I should be able to unravel this on camera sufficiently to show how they operate. I hope. Um, I have never seen this done. I will admit I have not searched YouTube for it. Somebody else has probably already done this. But it seemed the ideal opportunity because this capacitor was completely dud. Uh, it had failed. I see I've sliced off a piece of the foil there. Now, what we have now, if I carefully remove the top layer of the paper should start to unravel. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. You see, what you've got is two layers of foil and two layers of paper. It's very, very thin foil. It's aluminium foil, but it's much, much thinner than the stuff you would find in your kitchen. It's incredibly fine. 
it's ridiculously fine in fact and two layers of paper now paper is what may contain the carcinogenic chemicals it feels like just wax but there's no easy way to tell which is which but you can see it's literally it's there's probably dozens of square feet of this two layers of paper or two layers of foil separated by two layers of paper it's basically foil paper foil paper then wound up and as you can see the paper overlaps the foil ever so slightly to prevent any short circuits although evidently that didn't work in this case um, I'm going to try I, I would suspect there's probably a few dozen square feet of foil here I'm going to unravel it hopefully to show the way the connections are made we're down to about a thir two thirds of the original size so we're getting there but you can see this is how it there we go I'm separating the two foils ah hold on we've lost one of the strips there we are there's one of the connection strips. I'm not sure where the other one went. It was probably... Ah, it's over here. It's fallen out. I went a bit over the top. See, the connection strips are literally copper tags. I, well, I think they're copper. That the wire lead-out wires were soldered to. That were embedded between the layers of paper and foil. To make a connection to each... Now it's just snapped off, actually, to make a connection to each layer. And all it should be in the centre, there's no core. It's literally... Well, it can vary. Um, the actual capacitance varies depending on the how thin the paper is, what the insulating material embedded in the, or um, infused into the paper is. You see, I mean, we can do a rough estimate here. I will do a rough guesstimate uh, in cubic, no, cubic, in square feet, in both square feet and square meters of how much surface area each of these foils had. You see, there we go. It's just, it's literally, they're just folded over. And the foil has run out now. The first one was wound. I think the first one was wound up by the look of it to make a flat piece. And then the second one starts there. But what we will do, I'm going to, I will measure these and get back to you. So I'm going to pause the video now, measure this, then restart the video. Okay, I have done the measurements and used Google's very handy calculator to tell me that the, the length was 5 metres, the width was 38 millimetres, which means that the square foot or, or square metres is, is 0.19 square metres or two, just a fraction over two square feet of foil wrapped up into that tiny little package. And that was only a one microfarad capacitor using extremely thin paper. Now, as I said, I haven't smelled anything. I don't think this is the toxic type, but just in case, I covered the table initially in paper, paper towel, dropping the stuff all over the place. But I should at least have limited my exposure to the chemicals, if there are any. And what I will do, what I should have done actually, is kept one of the rubber gloves to put that in. But I will wrap it in paper. I happen to have handy, and that will then go straight in the bin. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm hoping to do more tear down videos of 
probably mostly telephone components because that is what I do. But uh, please like, rate and subscribe.